Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming coming to you from Tutorial Land with Tutorial Love and today I'm going to tell you the fun story. It started out with me wanting to make, I don't know where it is, it's back here somewhere. I wanted to make some sort of dog house that swapped dogs in and out so I was looking up my own armor swapper video and I came across this video over here uh, by Mr. Crayfish and it was this crazy armor wardrobe swapper station thing and I was like wow it's super cool he totally gives credit to somebody on reddit for suggesting it he made it long story short this the credit for this one goes out to Mr. Crayfish I'll definitely put a link to his channel in the description below I just moved it down a little bit I moved it one down now it's flush with the ground a little bit different and yeah so I think uh, what I'll do is show you what it does let's change views so all you got to do is stand in this spot you're standing there. Pick which one you want. I want diamond armor. So on that one there, I think what you'll notice that I did is that I broke, uh, I broke said said trap door. So what we're gonna do is uh, switch our view and put it back. So basically, as you can see, what happens is I also got the armor stand in my inventory. So as you can see, let's take this off and I'll show you with a different one. This way we won't break it. Actually, I'll just go ahead and swipe it. So say we want iron armor now. There's no pants. So we want gold. Here. And now you're going to see. Helmet. Pants. Chest plate. Shoes. We're good. And we're ready to party. So there you go. It is a very super easy build, guys. Uh, not too resource extensive. And yeah. So let me tell you. For this build, guys, you're going to need five pressure plates, five armor stands, five trap doors, six dispensers, one dropper, one comparator, two redstone repeaters, three redstone dust. Just bring a half a stack of blocks if you're building a wall. 17 stairs, give or take, if you want it to kind of look like mine. And uh, six hoppers. So, before we jump into this build, don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some more wicked uh, redstone tutorials and things like that. So, let's jump down here. So, we're going to start this pretty simple with a nice hole in the ground. It's going to be five wide, four deep, and... Just a single one. And then right in the center here, in the middle one, we're going to go down three and three. Easy enough. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and grab your redstone dispensers or your dispensers. I don't think you call them redstone ones. And you're going to put them all the way down here. Go ahead and grab that one dropper. Looking good. Looking good. Now go ahead and crouch place. Right trigger in. Right trigger in. Boop. Dispenser right on top of it. So... And you know, that's actually not that bad. We did most of it. So let's just jump down here, crouch place, right trigger in, throw a hopper in this guy, and then let's go and make sure that these guys join up. This guy, this guy, and we're going to have to just jump out here for this one, crouch place, in there. So now let's go to the other side. Got that guy right there. Got that guy right there. Oh, look at good. So my game's lagging out in a weird way. I think it just jumped right there, but it might, it might just be me. So let's go ahead and get rid of two deep in a nice little three by three with that uh, dispenser in the top corner. You know, we're going to do go one more three deep. Nice. So grab yourself a comparator. Comparator's going to shoot out of this guy. We're going to grab a block because we need a block. And uh, into a block, into a repeater shooting out. So now grab redstone dust and put it on all four of these ones right here. Turn around and throw your repeater right there. Perfect. Looking good. We're almost there. Go ahead and jump down here. Crouch place. Put your stone pressure plate on all these guys. Looking good. So now we have uh, most of the battle out of the way. Let's go ahead and grab our stairs. I'm just going to jump up and let's just do this. So... Once we do this, we're going to be able to put our trap doors. Trap doors go on the front like this. Once the trap doors are like that, that's looking good. We're going to also have to, at least for the time being, uh, put a solid block back here to just get our armor stands ready. So now that those are there, the floor, you could probably go ahead and cover it up. So one thing I kind of did here that was really different was I just dropped this down all one because I really think it looks sharp when you have these stairs like this and then it gives you a place to stand I threw a piece of carpet you guys could be a little more adventurous if you wanted to but I think it just looks really good like this I think it's suited see how you just go right down there in the hole you're good to go we're gonna grab this guy let's go ahead and just cover it up and we're looking good so as you can see right now it we're probably ready to go are we ready to go what are we gonna do well let's go ahead and grab our armor stands actually you know what we're gonna have to do 
I'm at my limit for armor stands, so I'm going to have to actually get rid of these ones just to make a new one. I know I'm at my limit because I had to race around while I was doing this tutorial. Grab this guy right here, and go ahead and place your armor stands on the face of the solid block right here. If you want it to look good, try to make it straight. Okay, so the secret to success here is what we have to do back here. So just get rid of three blocks down. And then we're just going to go down here, do the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one more. These dispensers here are going to shoot arrows. And they're going to shoot the armor stand, pop it off, knock all the armor and the armor stand back in here. And this is just going to go shoot right back up to you. So the one thing we're going to really have to do here is go ahead and grab a bunch of arrows. You actually, guys, you don't need this, right? Think about how often you're using it. I, you'd only have to put like a little bit. I'm lazy paisy, so I'm just putting in a stack, but... You probably don't need this thing right here. I'll do like, you know what I mean? And it only does one, <clears throat> one per, right? So one arrow per, you'd be there for days. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and grab some stairs back. Grab a trap door. And I'm going to grab some ladders quick because you're going to have to go down there once in a while. So what I did was pop this guy out. Trap door right there looks good. Let's go down here, set it up so that uh, you could get upstairs. Perfect. Good to go. Good to go. And then uh, on the rest, it's your call how you want to do it. I think, I think I ended up doing this right here. We got a little half slab design. It's all up to you. I'm gonna leave it for you. I really like the way that these swords look facing up with it. Personally, I thought it was really cool. And uh, let's go ahead and move this here. And we'll just test out one. And make sure everything's hunky-dory. Okay, the other thing we could do is let's go ahead and grab some carpet. I think throwing carpet here is a good idea. Just make sure you crouch place with that right trigger in. Nice. So now you go up here. You go in the hole. Change the view. Oh, I just got it back because I'm already wearing armor, but let's see. If you want to do it all over again, just go ahead and grab your armor stand and put it right back. Ooh, there's a motorcycle outside. So let's go start this one more time. This guy, this guy, this guy. Okay, let's open this up. Ding, 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 ding. But there you go, guys. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. You like it. There you go. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some more Wicked tutorials. Honestly, it's super cool, guys. It is. I'm telling you. Okay. Catch you tomorrow.